All right, guys, welcome back. So let's move on to the rest of the hand. Um, so let me turn on the quadro too. Okay, one thing I wanted to do here is extend out my fingers, right? So I can holding down tab and middle mouse button to extrude out these structures. Okay, make the connection here. Right. And that, moving on to the back. You can see the gap face, you have to do that uh, uh, with, uh, you can only just extrude that out uh, and then you have to extrude out the surroundings, okay? Because that's not consider considered to be a consistent loop, so you have to drag that out uh, itself. Uh, but anyway, after that, uh, what we can do is, uh, we can actually uh, do some little trick here in the connection part because we have a lot of lines going downwards including this this gap especially like uh, we have these three gaps and they're they're taking a lot of lines going downwards so I'm gonna say let's eliminate that I'm gonna merge the end together for the gap okay for this loop going towards going uh, uh, for this loop that represent the gap between those two fingers right I'm gonna merge those together. Now this is what I get. Okay. Now I got some triangles to fix that. I'm gonna show you a, a modeling tool to do that. Holding down right mouse button, go to object mode, and we can hit the Q button and control one to isolate this. Okay. Now holding down shift and right mouse button, go to multi cut. Okay. Now let's start from the bottom of this triangle here. Okay. Now let's go across uh, the middle part. Okay. And then let's now you can see we're meeting the bottom of the other triangle on the other side and let's drop down a dot in the middle of that triangle and connect it to the other side of this triangle and keep going across the finger and all the way around and we meet the triangle we started with again right let's go to the middle of that triangle and then go to the very end uh the very beginning okay uh, go back to where we started and you can see it's going to automatically snap there Okay, and you hit enter to finish that. Okay, now let's start with the center of this triangle again and go across the next finger. You can see you see another triangle, right? When you see a triangle, go to the middle and go to the next edge. And you just keep going until you meet another triangle and you go to the center and go wrap around. And you can see another triangle and just, just finish it there and hit enter. Okay. Now you can keep going from the triangle here and just keep going to another triangle, go to the center, change direction, going downwards now, and going to the center again, wrap around, go backwards, now you cut to the another triangle, right? And hit the enter button, and keep going until you have finished all the triangles. Uh, this is actually the last one, so this is not gonna take a lot of time if you just follow the rule and hit enter. All right, now when that is done, you can see we're creating some quads and we have one more line in the middle to make the gap more flexible. So that's actually pretty good. Now let's go to the object mode, right? And go to quad draw two again. And then we can smooth that out. All right, I hope that's not too confusing. Okay. And when that is done, then let's figure out one more thing, which is the center of this finger here. This one, you can see it does go through all the fingers and I want that to be true for the sum also. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay. All right. So this keep going to the sum and then I can also make the sum work uh, really quickly. Okay. Now I don't have a particular amount of edges I want it to go towards the sum, but there's one thing I want to make sure the sum will have, this loop will have, which is an even number. So let's go ahead and check that. Uh, for now I have 18, uh, that means nine on each side because we're having the other side. So that's not an even number. And that's gonna give me issues for when I'm connecting to the very end. So let me go to quadro two again and just add one more loop here to make sure that I have a even number going upwards. All right, so that's something you must have uh, in order to make the connection to the top uh, nice, uh, nicely meet, meeting each other. Right? And then after that, then we can just go ahead and block in the surroundings of the palm. Uh, one more thing I want to lay out is basically this loop that's, that's wrapping around 
uh, the padding here. Right, so let me do that real quick. All right, let's keep going. Keep going until we uh, got to here. Okay. Oh, there's one thing I don't quite like about this structure. I want this guy to be connected to here instead. Okay. Now there's a subtlety here because I kind of have the pole over here, right? And I want the pole to be having the same connect to the same same up and down directions. So instead of going here, I want it to go up. Okay. And that gives me the opportunity to have all these guys, you know, just wrap around what's happening here in the middle. Oh, that's actually this guy. So this is not very good, actually. Uh, let me make these guys go down here. But let's see what's going on here. So uh, the problem is that we have these and we have this loop, right? This loop does not wrap around and connect to itself to itself. So I'm gonna make it happen, uh, force it to happen by doing this. Okay. So that I have a loop like this. Okay, and the other guys can just keep going with this loop. Okay, you can smooth that out a little bit. All right. So I have a loop like this going around. Okay, so everything is like nice and symmetrical. Okay, <clears throat> and then I can keep going from here and start building out what's happening in the middle. Okay, so these guys can go down and I can smooth out their positioning. And I kind of wanted to have the other padding also represented nicely by doing this. You can see I'm creating a little uh, loop going around. So this loop and that loop for the two paddings uh, across the palm. Okay. All right. Now when I look at it, I'm thinking maybe those lines are shifting towards that direction too much. So I'm not sure if I wanted to change that uh, because if I wanted to, then there's a lot of tweaking down the way. You know what? I'm just gonna accept it because this is not gonna give me a lot of issue to do rigging anyways. So. Yeah, I'm gonna go step that and keep going with my other structures. Keep going down, keep going down, going down. Okay, and then we'll smooth this guy out. Alright. And then we can keep going down here too. Make the connections. Can also extrude this way. Okay, now you can see we have mismatched poly count. Let me add one more line here and then fill that in and then smooth that out. Okay, so now let's figure out this middle part. Again, I have already determined how many lines I go towards the sun, but that can be changed. But just keep in mind that you wanted to still keep it uh, the same amount of. Um, the even number, right? So just keep that in mind when you're filling in those gaps. Okay. I think I'm having too much lines going inwards. Uh, that's gonna be harder to do because they're 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 kind of shifting around a lot. Uh, let's see. Uh, let me also fill in that gap. Okay. Let me delete that line and then connect this have a line here oh oh by the way again just keep in mind that you you just want that much of a line going up to the top right so you wanted to keep it that way so you can say uh, if I'm gonna add one line here I'm gonna add another line somewhere here right so that I have the same even number and let me smooth that out And this can go down here and you can see I have one more line here, but I don't really want it to be going all the way to the top Okay, so I'm gonna shift it around to somewhere at the bottom Okay, so I can see I can say uh, it's This is still gonna be connected But I'm gonna shift that issue to something downwards 
can delete that and that and I can have a face uh, like that so that way I'm not affecting what's happening uh, on the whole of the sum finger right uh, one thing we can check now is are we still getting the even number we got 24 so that's good right so I'm not worried about that about that anymore I just need to keep going with what's happening over here let me extrude out from there okay and this can end there also okay and let me even out those guys okay so now it's the time to, it's the time to check like how many lines we're going down going up from the hand and how many were going down from the uh, the arm right so they have to have the same amount of lines to be able to connect to each other uh, so let's take a look uh, let me go to edge mode double click here you can see we got 36 right that's a lot of lines take a look at what happens on the arm you can see we got 30 so we have like uh, three more lines going down each side uh, if you turn off the symmetry uh, you can see that more clearly you can see that's 15 and that's 18 right so we have three lines three more lines going down towards the uh, wrist we have three lesser lines uh, from the wrist to the hand uh, so to fix that we can try to add lines or deleting lines uh, so that we can have even numbers one thing we can do on the arm is that we can go insert a loop over here okay now that automatically adding two lines to the wrist so now you can see the wrist will have this loop added and two more points added to the very end right to the connection part okay, so that's one thing we can do let me this guy out okay and now let's check we have 17 we have 18 here so just one more line to fix this okay one more line needs to go or one lesser line need to come from the um, the hand okay uh, so let's see I think I don't really want to change much around the hand I can tolerate one more line across the body okay all right so to do that though you want to keep in mind that you have also the body part so what I'm gonna do here is grab the body and the arm I can do a combine okay and then also you want to merge those vertices because even you do combine they are not going to be merged over here so let me grab all the vertices here okay that has the connections right you can select more than that so there's no problem with that you can even select everything here but let's just select this area and holding down the shift and red mouse button go to merge vertices and go to merge vertices and here you want to change the threshold to something really low like 0.0001 and apply okay and then you can close that now you can try to drag the vertex you can see now they are merged okay just make sure that you do that all right now let's see where we can do to add one more line there's a lot of places we can add that line for example here we have a fairly big gap right let's go to quadro 2 and holding down control and add that one more line that we need it for the wrist to connect oops uh, let's, let me also turn back the object uh, symmetry and now you can see uh, we're getting uh, the same amount of line now going from the arm to the hand okay so there are many ways you can add new lines to the arm just to have the same amount of lines going down to the wrist okay all right now we can do our connection so what we do is here just grab both right and then we can go do a combine Oops, let's do that again grab all, all these right shift and right mouse button and then combine all right now you can double click on this edge and holding down shift and double click on the other side and you can do a bridge command and you can see they're bridged properly right all right cool now let's grab the model and control shift alt shift d to delete history control one to go back and then we can go to the core draw two again and we can then start smoothing out what's happening over here
Now keep in mind that after the combination, we probably will have a really heavy model to deal with. So that you you will have some performance hit. Okay. Right, so let me smooth that out and add two more edge loop in the middle and then smooth that out smooth this area out this area out just a little bit more uh, those lines are added to support the bending of the wrist okay all right cool so after that i know that the time is getting really long but let's just finish the rest right we just need to finish the some finger so let me do that real quick i can uh, hold it down tap and drag it out all the way to maybe just to this segment over here right okay let's drag this guy back back let's go back okay just even out their positioning and then one more extrusion to the end <coughs> ah, excuse me so just need to reposition these guys right and then oops mix them nice and even right, we're almost there So these guys, these guys can uh, go back just a little bit. Okay, now there's one thing I want to find out, which is where this middle line is. This middle line goes across its entire hand, right? So this line. So what I can do is I can extrude out from there. And then I think that's, I'm not sure where is the counterpart yet, but I can try something. Uh, let's see. So maybe it's gonna be this one. I can of course try to count it and see how many lines should be what lines should be on the other side but i'm just gonna risk it and try to see if that's gonna be the one okay all right let me add one more loop here in the middle and we can have one more loop here and one more loop here and we can just fill in the faces also do the same thing for the bottom so again if they're even number then it's gonna be okay uh, if it's they're not even number then you're doomed <laughs> you have to then figure out you, how do you add that extra line to make them even or deleting a line if that's also possible oops so let me just add one more line here and one more line here to support the bending i kind of wanted to add more lines here on the tip of the sum and also some more lines over here and maybe one line over here so that I can have enough lines to help me with the bending okay all right and then just some minor smoothing and then we got everything we need uh, for the topology Okay, so I hope the topology part is not like too, you know, challenging for you, but it could be, uh, especially for beginners. For experienced modelers, this may be is something that is, you know, just something out of memory already. You don't have to think too much uh, when you're doing this. Okay, but I still encourage you to try to enhance your topology, right? Try to think about uh, the needs for deformation and uh, and every time when I'm doing my topology it's gonna be different uh, just to you know try to enhance it right I don't use the same topology for everyone 
and especially when I, when I'm doing something completely different, like an alien with very different shapes, I could end up with a very different topology. So it's always good to practice with topology if you have time. All right. So now we have the hand also connected and everything done. One last thing we need to do is just merge. Oh, actually, I forget to make that part merged. Okay, I can show you how to fix that later on. But for now, let me just grab the leg and then also do a command. Right. So we select the body, holding down shift and select the leg and shift and red mouse button. We can do a combine and then grab all the vertices, shift and red mouse button, go to merge vertices and merge vertices and then apply. All right. So these are all good now. Okay, so one last thing to fix that part is you can just do a mirror command. Uh, so that's also going to be in object mode, holding down shift and red mouse button, you can do a mirror. Okay, and that's going to be automatically mirrored to the other side and we are done with the geometry. Okay, let me alt shift D to delete history. Alright, so moving on to the next, we're going to go ahead and check if there's something topology-wise we want to fix and also we can try to enhance some of the part that we don't like. Okay, see you next time.